in the verse number 29. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Now listen to what Paul is saying. He said, I am sure, I am not guessing, that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. It means that there is a blessing that comes with the gospel. Are you getting it? And one of the blessings tonight that comes with the gospel is peace. When Jesus was leaving John chapter 14, the verse number 27, he said, my peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. Not as the world giveth. It means that there is a worldly peace and there is a godly peace. That's the peace that the Lord gives. John 14, 27. Are you getting it? He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace give I unto thee. My peace give I unto thee, not as the world given. So there is a world perspective of peace, and there is a scriptural perspective of peace. Are you getting it? We are looking at the godly perspective of peace, that which comes by fully embracing the gospel of Christ. When a man or a woman embraces fully the gospel of Christ, there is a peace that that man or woman enjoys. And that is what we are looking at. And tonight, we're also going to deal with our peace being attacked. The things that rise up or the issues that rises up against our peace. Are you getting a place? I'm sure and I know that you'll be blessed. Shall we lift up our voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord tonight? Lift up your voice right now and celebrate the goodness and the kindness of God, even in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift him up higher tonight, even in the name of Jesus. Can I hear your voice? Blessing the name of the Lord. Can I hear your voice? Celebrating the Lord for his kindness, for his goodness, over your life, over your family, over your friends, over your loved ones. Lord, I thank you Lord, for my life. I have spent I thank you Lord, for the heart, for the life of my family. Father, I bless you. I I give you the glory of God. I give you the praise of God. I give you the honor 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 of God. I give you Lord, we thank you, Lord, we bless you, Lord, we thank 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 you,
we are praying Amen. unto God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to speak to some people. Okay, let's pray today. We are praying a prayer unto God. Hallelujah. That thou blesser Amen. of man, arise and bless me. That Lord, it is my time, it is my season. I said, the oh. blessing of the Lord is not now here, you know, and that this is not just narrowed to money. No. I've been explaining it since the inception of 30 in 30, that the blessing of the Lord transcends money or wealth. Like, and that's one of the things we are dealing with tonight. And one component, the blessing of God is the peace of God. Are you getting it? The peace yeah. of God. But when I rise up, maybe you, you, you want to experience the blessing of the Lord in so many areas relationship, in your marriage, in your exam, in so many areas of your life, when I cry out unto God, the Father, in the name of Jesus, thou blesser of men, bless me. In my career, Lord, in my business, in every area of my life, marriage, relationship, wife, thou blesser of men, arise and bless me. This year is my year, Lord, arise and bless me. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. And pray. Let me so practice in a light. Racket in the kingdom. Let me Hallelujah. Amen. Because the video is on. You have to get a very strong a place with a strong network in order to connect consistently. So make sure that you are connected that way. That's why people are leaving and joining. Like I said, and I always say this for the rest of the 30 days that don't decide that this year you not become a passive Christian, that you will draw many to Jesus on this platform, that whenever you join, or even during the day, you are inviting five to 10 people, that brother, do you know something, or sister, do you know something? There is a place that God is doing amazing things. There's a place that people are being empowered. I want you to join for, for you to also be empowered. God is, I believe that God is with, within his people or in the midst of his people. I want you to partake of that which I am partaking. So connect somebody, like I always say, somebody's testimony is just connected to heeding to this instruction and inviting somebody. That is all. Somebody, you are just moving through to pray. But let me tell you, what will trigger your testimony is your invitation. What will trigger your testimony is your invitation. Is somebody here who has a lineage or a background connected to a place called Effie Duyasi. 
I, I will minister to you, but I will pray. I'm going to pray. That area there, that area, I'll minister to you, but I want us to pray. Romans chapter 15, the verse number 29. He said, I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. He said, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. Fullness of the blessing of the gospel. And one of, it means that the gospel comes, it's a package. It comes with a blessing. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the, the packages the gospel comes with is peace. He said, you know, I will hear what the Lord will speak. The Lord will speak peace. When the Lord speaks to you through his word, it brings peace. It, it, it settles you forever. I, Isaiah 32, the verse number 18. He said, my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, in insured dwellings, and in quiet resting places. So, not in chaos. They shall dwell. They shall dwell in a in habitation, in a peaceful habitation. When I pray, the Father immerse me in your peace this year, Lord. Cause me to dwell in peace. In all throughout the year, cause me, cause my family to dwell in peace. Lord, the word declares in Isaiah 32, 18, that my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, in a sure dwelling. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus, cause me to dwell in your peace. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 
is there somebody here whose hometown or who has lived around Efidiasi in the, at the Ashanti region? Is it Efidiasi, those area, getting to those area? Yes. Is there anybody there? Yes, Papa, this is Joshua speaking. That is my hometown. That's your hometown. Okay, yes. I, I see someone also muted. Is there no one again? Whilst we were praying, when we started the meeting, I had a word for somebody that comes from Ephidiasi. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who is Prince? Prince, can 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 you uh can you can I see your video? Uh, is, he, is he there, please? Can you check for me? Oh, okay, you are all right. You are I'm from Ephidiasi. No, 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 no. I'm not from Ephidiasi. Have you stayed there before? No, please, no. Uh, I'm looking for Ephidiasi people. Prince, have you lived in Ephidiasi before? I'm from Ephidiasi. I'm Prince. You are Prince from Ephidiasi. All right, and we also have Joshua, right? Yes. We also have Joshua. Okay, Prince, can I speak to you? Can I feel free? Can I feel free, please? Yes. Yes, please. How is life? Oh, is it there? I think yes, I know please. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll talk to you in private then. But how yes, is life? Henry. How is life? Ah, uh, it's cool. Life is cool, eh? Yes, Papa. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Prince, you let me speak to you. I'll, I'll, I'll reserve the rest for when um, I talk to you in private. Maybe tomorrow, God willing. Today, dear, right after us, I'm going to sleep. So tired. Amen. And I'll enter into a fiduciary. Amen. And I'll enter, uh, uh, as it were, a place that is close to, you know, a house that is close to a station, something like a house that is close to a station. And I see a lot of people being bound in the house. And a young man, thank you, Holy Spirit, is standing just in front of the house. And I will see, thank you, Holy Spirit, as it were, that the Lord has ordained that young man as a deliverer. But the enemy is saying, and the spirit that is working against the family is saying that we will not make him emerge. We will not make him you know, live to fully fulfill you know, God's mandate for his life. For they will see a star. You know, for they saw a star on the day that you were born. But tonight, that saith the Lord, I have rescued my son. I have rescued my son. I have rescued my son. The Lord said that he is bringing you rescue. The Lord said he's bringing, for he has made you a deliverer. He has made you a deliverer. He has made you a deliverer for a family to, to, un, to, you know, to loosen, to break a family free from bondage because, praise, can I speak to you? Like in your family, is this the one, please? Yes, please, Papa. In your family... Is there like in Konya, like, you know, uh, this chieftaincy thing? Like in Konya or No, I'm just please, speaking. I don't know about it. You don't know about it. Okay. I, and I will see I a certain covenant yeah. that was made with the deity that is trying to find expression against that young man because he, his star was shining brighter. Friends, you are supposed to live far above what you are experiencing right now. But the Lord said, tonight through the service, I have brought you rescue. I declare as a servant of God, I decree and I declare, let the power and the grace that make, lift up your hands, please, that make men, let that power rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I declare, the release of grace to lose you from every chain, from every bondage of hell in the Amen. name of the Lord Jesus. And I command you to be
Become whatever God has ordained for you to become in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let me speak to you, Joshua. Let me speak to you, Joshua. Let me speak to you, Amen. Joshua. And yes, Papa. in the name of Jesus, and I entered into another place, and I saw somebody that also hailed from Ephidiasif, uh, and I think tonight is your night of stars, and I saw a guy with a great destiny. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Joshua, are you also connected to Mponyabi? Oh, yes, this Chief Tansi, okay. Then I think I was trying, I was making the two of you your distance. Listen to me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, 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 Joshua is my. I'll speak to you. Call me afterwards. Amen. We are praying our second prayer. By the power of God, come against anything out against my peace this year. When I pray, I pray the Father, anything that will be released from the pit of hell against my peace, I come against it by the blood. In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Listen to me. Amen. I hear the word. You know, is there anybody whose name is associated with love, like Odo? I heard Odo, like love. You know, your name, the meaning of it is love. When I pray our last prayer, please get ready. That person should get ready. I will speak to that person. Hallelujah. Your name, the interpretation of your name, 
is love. You want to pray a prayer unto God. The Bible said that thou will keep him, Isaiah 26, the verse number three, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. We are praying unto God that Father help me to keep a mind on you throughout this year. The Bible said that, and Jesus bid Peter to come, but I Peter was coming. The Bible said that when he saw that, you know, the, the boisterous wind, the Bible said that, and he feared. And as he feared, he began to sing. Began to sing. When your mind gets of Jesus, that is, how, that is when your life begin to sing. Begin to sing. Are you getting it? Your mind must be staying on Jesus if you are going to, you know, uh, experience the blessing that the year comes with or the blessing that the Lord has ordained for this year. The blessing that you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is on the Lord. Wanna pray a prayer unto God that help me, Lord, to keep my eyes on you in midst of everything, Lord. Help me not to lose sight of you. Really grant me, oh God, the grace, Lord, to keep focus on you throughout this year. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and prayer. Lift your voice and prayer. Lord, help me to keep my eyes on you. Father, Lord, God, Lord, help me uh, to keep my eyes on you. Uh, this year. Lord God, uh, help me, Lord, uh, to keep my eyes on you. Uh, Lord, help me uh, to keep my eyes on you. Uh, throughout this year, Father, uh, Lord God, uh, help me uh, to keep my eyes on you. Uh, Lord God, uh, Hallelujah. Amen. Your hands you are Amen. closing the service. Today we had an eight-hour prayer session. So the man of God must rest and go and sleep. Hallelujah. Uh, I wanted to speak to some Amen. few people, but I think tomorrow is there. That's why we have 30 days. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So tomorrow, connect the Lord who enable us to speak into your life and release a blessing into your life for the coming year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. Lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Thank him for answered prayers tonight. Thank him for yeah, answered prayers him. for hearing and for Father, answering you. you. In the you name of the Lord Jesus, celebrate God. In the name of Jesus, celebrate him right now. Lord, I 